Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Final Fantasy V, the Pixel Remaster. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, in our previous episode we went through the ancient pyramid of Moor and it took us forever. Mostly because there were so many encounters that we had to do. Um, all of the uh, chests that had monsters in it and all of the uh, um, all of the other encounters that we had to do, um, so, yeah, it was just, uh, just a lot of fighting, um, otherwise it would have been fine, you know, uh, let's see, I don't think it matters what we have for her second job, right? Um... Yeah, it really doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> um... Because we're just going to be exclusively using black magic, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there's nothing here that'll really help us. So we'll do blue magic. <clears throat> Give you a flame rod to enhance your fire magic. Give you an ele elven mantle. And give you... I guess the hypno crown's fine. Put you in the back row, and then we'll make you a blue mage with uh, black magic, give you a flame rod, <clears throat> excuse me, elven mantle, tiger mask, no, give you a sage's miter, or... Say just matter. And then I think we'll just leave Bart's as is. I don't think we need to. Do I want to equip the Elven Mantle instead? No. Because he's got the black garb, which is good. It's very solid. The Thornlet. Uh, no. <clears throat> it's a shame that... The uh, Excalibur is <laughs> such a bad weapon. Alrighty, let's go ahead and... Let's see, we've got some tents left, right? Yeah. Go ahead and spend the night in the desert. We're tired. Plus, we've been just we've just been um, challenged by Bahamut <clears throat> to meet uh, him on North Mountain. First, we're gonna head to the Guardian Tree because we gotta go back this way anyway. Hey, look, it's a Windrake. <clears throat> so, which one is it? Is it the one from Kryle's World, or is it Hear You? And, oh, it must be here, you, because Lena is fortunately not sucked into the void. Thank you, here, you. You're such a good dragon. Wake up, girl. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's a trap. Man. X-Death is pulling more shenanigans again. Fell beast from your millennium long prison, Melusine. Yep, X Death's showing up again. Mwahaha. -ha. You know, I kind of wonder, based off of the way he's dressed, it's probably not, but the way his villainous attitude is kind of silly, in a sense. You know, his whole, oh, the power of the void is going to belong to me. You know, evil or evil this, evil that. It kind of makes me wonder if, um, because, like I said, this is kind of far-fetched, uh, going way out there, but because he's, his, his opponent is a turtle, and allusions, references have been made to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the TV series, that is. 
not necessarily the comic, but the TV series, if the same, like, silly, villainous attitude of Shredder influenced the development of X-Death. I don't know if that's anywhere on the internet or not, but um, it kind of seems that way. The way, you know, he has to do his mwahaha every time, uh, that's kind of one of the key indicators, honestly. And that, comments like that, I have a turtle infestation to take care of, it's like, dude, you take yourself too seriously to the point where you're just goofy. And so anyway, they're, they're just those little nuances that remind me of Shredder. Um, but Shredder definitely did not have the power of the void. Uh, so bye bye uh, Library of Ancients. Um, sorry guys. But um, you're being sucked into the void. Sorry. Alright, so Library of Ancients goes bye bye. That's alarming. And... You know, your logic is flawed in the sense that if you send the entire population of the planet to the void, there won't be anybody left to kneel, Mr. Mwahahaha. Let us stop it. Break out of it. Oh, here comes here you to the rescue. But... It dies. It dies. Just like that. Just... Sacrificing himself. Here you attacked. Wait, what? What? After all that we went through together, after saving Hiryu's life, after Hiryu saving our life, um, it just happened so quickly. I don't know, Hiryu's death seems very cheap and because of that. Alright, Melusine, it's time to face the music. In this case, fire! Um, so, we're not, not Fira, Firaga. Uh, so, Melusine, um, is weak to fire, um, and I think that if the battle goes on long enough, her weakness changes, but we're not let, gonna let that happen. Ouch. Um, especially, uh, with rapid fire. In fact, oops, it might be over right now, yeah. So we did about 14,000 damage between the two Ferragas that we already cast. So, Miss Melusine, um, your choice of wardrobe is questionable. Wearing snakes for clothing is probably not recommended. Anyway, um, we got Lena back. Hooray! Yeah, I'm sorry, Lena, about the castle and all the people of Tycoon. So Lena joins the party. Hooray! Um, alrighty, let's um, recess jobs. I think we'll leave Barts as is. Cryo, let's go ahead and start leveling up our red mages. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, I think Gaia, I don't know, because we have those Elm, if, if we're, I don't know, Gaia should be fine, right? We could make her a monk. Yeah, let's, let's actually make you a monk, Kryl, because we, wait, 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 we need somebody with the healing staff. Do we need someone with the healing staff? Maybe, maybe not. I'm trying to think if we're gonna, if we're really gonna encounter anything that's gonna. Um. Three thirty-four out of nine ninety-nine. Um. Let's see, Ferris. I'm gonna keep you for as a ninja for sure, and then give you the sing ability just for good measure. Uh. Yeah, I kind of want to make you a monk. Let's see, how far along are you, um, with the, uh...
with the with the job. Okay, so you're on the last level. You've got almost the whole last uh, level to go. Hmm. Oh, let's also. Yeah, that. Okay. Um, land a job. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Do I want you to be a monk? We can have you be a monk with white magic. Yeah, let's just have you be a monk with white magic. Um, and give you the power armlet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Cryle. Do I want to have you be a red mage with Gaia? Or... We could make you a dancer. That would actually... That actually might work. Nah, we're not going to try and be fancy. Uh, really, we just want, want the ability to clear trash ma um, mobs or common enemies. Um, quickly, but I don't want to waste like the ability points that we would get. So let's try two monks, um, and then blue magic or black. Let's do black magic. We'll just stick to our stick to our basics. Um, oops, not abilities. Quip. Diamond armlet. I think we want to go with uh, Elven mantle. Yeah, give you the ability to um, dodge. Yeah, no, we're good there. Air knife. Yeah, we want the air knife. Elven Mantle, do I want to be more of a glass cannon? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We're glass cannoning it up. Okay. Let's go up to uh, Circuit Castle and spend the night. Oh, hello. This will be a good uh, time to test our. Our um, party makeup here. Yeah, as long as we've got Romeo's Ballad. A kick, having two monks and a rapid fire Mystic Knight is a pretty solid choice. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Okay, hello, sirs. Did these guys say anything useful? No. Most of the solid scholars were able to get to the castle. Really? I'm pretty sure I saw all of them get sucked up into the air. Okay. Oh, so you're the one that now can read the sealed tome. Nope. We got it. The sealed castle of Kuza should be located east of Tool. Thank you. Yeah, otherwise... Um, if uh, we hadn't visited it before, like, I don't think I visited it. Visited it. That sounds kind of funny coming out of my mouth. What in the world is that giant mass of black stuff? Oh, such optimism. Alright, uh, yeah. We need, a, we need some R&R. &R. Especially Lena. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, proceed forward and leave Surrogate Castle. There's really nothing here for us. So, anyway, yeah, Castle Kuza is, uh, kind of hard, not kind of hard to find, I guess, but if, if you don't know where it is, you can take a minute to find it. Anyway, we're going to go back to our old airship, um... And experience another cutscene. 
Okay, so Castle Tycoon's our entry point. The Rift. However, we still need those legendary weapons. <clears throat> In the meantime, okay, we don't have control, right? Yeah, I was going to say, there's another cutscene coming up here. Pathetic fools. Enter heavy metal music and evil stuff happening. So, X-Death, I mean, he really needs to take a chill pill. Um... Granted, I understand he's probably a little upset, you know, this big, big amalgamation of malevolent spirits that were formed over lots of time. Was it centuries? Millennia? Whatever. There goes castle walls. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, and then history. History is history. That was silly. Um, but there they go. Hello, goodbye. Sorry. And Bart is uh, getting a little bit um, unhinged. Oh no, not the Moogle Forest. Oh no! Koopo, Koopo, Koopo! Oh, they're crawling. They're calling on Kryle for help. Oh, poor little Moogles. Poor little Moogles. And there goes Lick, Sparts, hometown. Oh no! I'm sorry, guys. And that is the last straw for Bart's. Well, Kryle, it's it's um, many someones altogether if you remember who or what X Death really is. And Bart, um, Bart's is overcome by. His anger just a little bit. Uh, oh, if you get motion sickness easily, watching is not advised. He decides to take a trip around the world a few times on a cruise control for road rage. Oh my goodness. Bart, you're going to crash into a mountain. Slow down, boy. Bart. Yeah, that's right, Bart. Get all yourself. Listen to the reason, or the voice of reason. There, that's better now. Although I can understand why you would be so angry. Alrighty, I think we finally have control again. Hooray! Alright, there's the wind shrine. Um, I think Castle Kuza is around here somewhere. Yep, it's right here. I think, right? Yes. What is that book? Uh, no, we don't need to. So, we, I guess we can come here now. Um, but let me think. Um, Let me think for a second. Yeah, let's go ahead and come in here. Okay, now we will need um, to change rapid fire to control just in case, and also change sing to scram. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick save. Uh, yep, it is. An island shrine protected by wind. Perhaps it refers to the one west of Tycoon. 
Yep. Beyond the river's torrents. Crashing water. Could that mean a wire file? Yep. Alright, so... There are two enemies, I believe, in this place. And they're both very deadly if we encounter either of them. So the shield dragon is the easier of the two because we can... Thank you. Oh, crap. Uh... Oh, we forgot to... We forgot. Okay, let's run. Run! Oh, we forgot to... We forgot to... It's a, it's a command. That's right. It's not a... Uh, ba 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 Um... It's not built into the actual runaway command, so... We may have to, uh... Let's see. Yeah, we're not gonna kill him by hitting him. Okay, let's raise you up. Yeah, I need the the crown if I'm gonna... If it's gonna be successful. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, we're in luck now. So this is how we have to do it, because they're very difficult enemies. Um, I mean, I could throw, uh, you know, fire scrolls at it to uh, help, but uh, no, nah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, I was totally... Um, so miffed by the appearance of the shield dragon. I mean, as you can see, lots of experience. Um, five ability points. Thousand gil, you know. But, um... Anyway, yeah, I forgot that the scram was a command on the menu and not, uh... Approach the one you'd have and speak. But once three stills have been erased... By dust, the stone will be replaced. Yep, you got it right, Barts. Okay, so... Don't want the axe. That one's crap. Um, is, this, is this it? Sauce? No. no. Um, yes. Assassin's Dagger is very nice, because basically any job can equip it. It's powerful with its um, ability to insta kill. Hooray! No, we want. Where's the big one? No. There it is. There's my big sword. Yeah. Gotta, gotta take the Masamune. Now we could either do the uh, the Magus Rod or the uh, Sage's Rod or Sage's Staff. Um, I guess it depends. Let's go with the Magus Rod. I think that I think that these are the first three that 99.9% .9 of people pick anyway, just because of their power and versatility, right? Um. It's, it's really, I don't know, in, unless you're doing maybe the the uh, the Fiesta challenge, you know, and you have other jobs, like uh, if you have a bard, then, you know, or a, <laughs> or a berserker, um, then I can understand, um, let's see, Assassin's Dagger... Yeah. And then... Oops. Um, yeah, guarantees first strike and cast, uh, casts hastes when used in battle. Very nice. And then... Um, it strengthens, I think, all of your black magic, right? Or maybe it's everything except... Yeah, it's it's all your black magic. 
So it's a very good, uh, very good item. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and cast a heal on Ferris. There we go. All right, so now tablet turns to dust because we've picked our three weapons, and we can exit the castle. Hey, X Death, what's up? Oh, now he's summoning all of his baddies. Find the Cretans and kill them. Yeah, this is definitely not a Shredder influenced villain. Definitely not. <laughs> the legendary weapon's not destroyed. Anyway. Okay, boss. <laughs> so he sends monsters after us. Okay, shield dragon, and I forgot to... Yeah, I totally forgot to equip the Hypno Crown. I mean, I know it's like... We're, we're right there. It's a very short walk, but still. Oh, okay. So if we encounter X Death's soul, I don't mess around. I just run. <laughs> I just run. All right. Uh, equip the uh, Genji helm again. And we don't need control anymore. Hey, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go down to Crescent. Because uh, there's a song that we're going to learn. Hello, we're back. Oh... All right, get him. Get him, everybody. Goodbye. Okay, I forgot to change your ability to sing. Hey. Let's talk to people, actually. It's an old poem. In the Tower of Strength... No, oh, the Tower of Strength is the one on the right. Cast spells if you will. Won't help in a fight. Okay. Oh, there you are. I was going to say, I know there's an old lady over here. Oh, that's not the one. There's another one that has a poem for us to read. Or for us to hear. An almighty pinch of salt, huh? Hey, mid. Hey, come talk to me. So hard to get this guy to talk to you. I think all he mentions is like how his grandpa's trapped or something. Tower appear on top of catapult. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I know. Things are getting weird. Oh, it's this lady. She has the poem. The tower on the left is the magic path. Even bulgy muscles make the enemies laugh. Yeah, and we'll unwind that mystery later but this is why we came hello minstrel you betcha I've gotten a lot better since the last time yeah how about that yay sinewy etude a very good song, this one. Um, I think, yeah, he describes it. Um, you'll find your strength will gradually grow to rival even the gods. That's kind of not even an exaggeration. It's a pretty awesome battle. And then <laughs> his last comment. Don't quit your day job. Okay. I don't plan to, okay? 
since I don't have one, technically. <laughs> okay, uh, of that nonsense. Okay, we've been to Kuza, we've been to Crescent. There's a lot of running around here. Um, we could go to Carwin. Um, and this is this is just funny because you go to Carwin before, right? And you're like, oh, whoops, no, we can't land on a mountain. My bad. And you see that there's there's one thing left, right? I think I've I think I mentioned this way back at the beginning, you know, uh, like a thousand years ago. Um, oh, whoops, we need to go under the portico. Um, let's talk to the people, actually. I don't know that... Uh, sure? I must devise a way to improve my skills further. It's like, what? Guess we're up skid row without a flipper. Some tower appeared in the desert. It's one of those things that make you go, hmm, really? So anyway, uh, it's a cottage, right? It's like, oh. It made us wait until the third world for a cottage? Wait, what? It's true, I tell you. I saw this huge drake or dragon or something flying to North Mountain on its big leathery wings. Oh, uh, Bahamut. That's right. And I don't... Yeah. Some weirdo used to hang around here. <laughs> I bet if you had a submarine... Hmm... So, a couple of guys say stuff, different stuff, but to give us, um, it's kind of funny how the roles reverse, right? The husband, the previous time it was the husband and now it's the wife that, uh, says it. A little bit of a reversal that time. Thank you. Yeah, good question. It's like, is anybody else asking this questions? Yeah, what's gonna happen to us? There's no crystals. Um, giant black holes are appearing throughout the world. Um, let's see. Uh, so anyway, that's that's Carwin. Uh, and all right, now. Uh, let's see. I think. What's some more side stuff that we can do here? Let's go to Regal. Is it Regal or Regole? Where is it? Is this 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 is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Um so Hello, sir. The frontier town of Regole. Regal. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now we can talk to the little girl. And we get a ribbon, which is fantastic. Thank you. And it's not on the register, see? It's a hidden item. It's kind of cool. Um, and I think that this is the only thing that we have to do here, according to my notes. Yep. What do people say, though? Oh man, yeah, I understand. Know that castle down south? Stay away from it. Oh, that's an interesting little clue. I don't think I've ever picked up on that, that that guy said that. Anyway. Let us depart. My bad.
Okay, so now, um, where's the pirate's cave? It's like south, it's straight down here, right? Yeah. yeah the, the merge worlds, they, they throw me off sometimes, even though, um, really? You just turn off encounters. Seriously, <laughs> it's fine because um, we're right here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Could it be? Could it be? Siltra. Sadly, she is not. Ferris can see Siltra's spirit or astral projection, whatever it might be. Kryle can, because Kryle's got powers. Oh, She is a good girl. What? Sildra has a soul made of gold. Oh, hey, Sildra. Give her a little nose pat. Hello. Well, if we could. And wow, we've got the summon monster, Sildra. Alrighty. So. Sildra will always be with us. Yard hard, affinity hit, what? Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. Farifa. So we named her Ferris. So now we know that it was this guy's granddad. Fished Ferris from the sea because she couldn't say Sarisa. She kept saying Farifa. <laughs> Such an adorable story. All right. Uh, you got that right. All right. I thought that um, hmm. I thought that there was another cutscene. Maybe not. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. Oh, whoops. I didn't really actually mean to use a water scroll. My bad. <laughs> that was a waste. <clears throat> oh, where is... um? Uh, what's the town? Uh, werewolf town is here, right? Is this the werewolf town? I think so. Quell, yes. Um, it seems a shrine is appeared at the center of Big Bridge. Yes, yes, X-Death is not actually dead. Suze was my younger brother. He traveled to the... Okay, that's right. Okay, um... Let's stock up on scrolls. That's the whole reason I want to come here. Yes. Before I forget to do so. There we go. Alright. Goodbye. Oh, do I have a poison rod? Ah, I forgot to see if... Okay, um, no, I don't, but let's go ahead and get one. I don't remember if there's a, off the top of my head without consulting my notes, um, if there's a battle where I'm going to need to cast Bio indiscriminately. Um, so I'll go ahead and get a Poison Rod, just in case I do need to uh, enhance my um, Poison Magic. Alright, so that's all we need to do here, and then... Uh, let's see. We need to get on Boko. It's up here, right? 
Yep. Let's switch over to Boko real quick. Come on. No, um... Oh, that's right. We need to walk all the way around. That's right. It's kind of a trip. Kind of a trip. Run, Boko, run. I need to get into practice for running around aimlessly. Well, not aimlessly per se, but you're going to have chicks soon you're going to be running after, so you need that endurance to be high. Okay. We come up here, and I don't think it matters. Yeah. Okay. And that's all we need here. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, if the magic lamp is depleted, we just come here and it restores it, so that's cool. Um, and then... We go all the way back to the airship. Yeah. Let's see, um... No, I don't remember my <laughs> way back. Oh, man. Oop, no, 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 this way. Alrighty, good job, Boko. Alright, back to the airship, and now to the town of Moor. Uh... It's all the way down there. Alright, I think this will be the last place we visit before we uh, call the episode. Where is the place where we can land? Oh, that's right. We can just... <laughs> we can land in the lake. I forgot about that. Uh, derp. Hello. Um, somebody unlocked the shed. People say it's haunted. Oh, no. So you're like, what's the shed? Uh, well, it's this. And I don't know how long that took me to figure out uh, the first time that I played this. Like, what's the shed? So I think I thought it was a, a bill, uh, like a, I don't know, a hidden um, part of one of these other buildings, but it didn't even, oopsies, we didn't need to go in there. It didn't even occur to me that it was that building down in the south part that we couldn't uh, go in before. So now, uh, let's see. I think there's only one way to go, right? Maybe. There we go, we found it. Um... Or just very lucky. Yeah, kind of the latter. <laughs> if you're brave, take what's in the kit on the left. If you're a coward, take what's on the one to the right. Alright, I'm going to quick save this just so I don't mess with up. Um, this is the chicken knife. The most powerful weapon in the game. And then, of course, we get the little skeleton that makes fun of us. Oh, you're funny, sir. And then... that, and then up this way. Okay, there we go. So, we got the chicken knife. And then after you get the chicken knife, uh, it says something different. Interesting. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and just call the episode, because I think the next um, place we're going to go is the Phantom Village, then after that... We'll go to ball, um, and then we'll do some other stuff, and we might get to the Phoenix Tower, actually, on our next episode. We'll see. Alrighty, so, let's save game. Alrighty, and until our next episode, so long for now.